Hey everybody, it's AJ here, and in today's video, we are gonna have a look at Microsoft Edge versus Google Chrome to see which is your best web browser overall. Before we get into it, I just wanna say a big thank you to everybody that voted in the poll earlier this week. I'll post the results up for you right now. Google Chrome has been the dominant web browser for well over a decade, and at the time of recording this, it has just under 70% market share worldwide, with Microsoft Edge trailing far behind with just over 8% right now. But with Microsoft rebuilding Microsoft Edge on the same Chromium base as Google and the announcement of Windows 11, I think it's time we relook at the battle of the browsers. There are four areas we're gonna look at today and they are performance, designs, extension, and security. To ensure this test is as fair as possible, I've gone into the task manager and I've forced shut both the programs to make sure there's nothing sitting in residual memory and they're opening up for the first time on this computer. So we're gonna run two individual browser-based tests I haven't run either of these on Edge or on Chrome, so I actually don't know who is going to win. one was going to win my money was actually on chrome if i was going to bet for it just because chrome does have the um have the reputation of being the better the faster browser but out of these two tests that we ran it was actually a one and one of course this isn't definitive but what it does show you is how far microsoft edge has come being based on the chromium engine and that it is now neck and neck with google chrome at least when it comes to these synthetic benchmarks so what we're going to do now is we're going to launch back into these web browsers and then we're going to run the same websites on both chrome and on edge and see how this actually affects your cpu and your ram performance starting again with the king we're going to jump over to google chrome and i only say king because google chrome is the king of market share so we're going to launch into a youtube website we're going to check out tesla Dot com. Uh, we're also going to go over to maybe Word Online and another picture heavy one. We're going to go check out car sales. Google Chrome has always been known to be a bit of a memory hog. Um, so right now, what I'm looking at more so is the memory rather than the CPU usage, because that will spike and drop as you're using and cha changing websites, as you can see. But right now we're sitting idle at around 30% overall memory utilization and around 1300 megs. All right, now we're gonna jump out of this and load the same documents and the same websites in Microsoft Edge. There is no discernible difference in the speed tests from Chrome and Edge because they are using the same Chrome browser. Google Chrome has always been known to be a bit of a memory hog, but from what we did just then, and also from my tests that I've done over the past couple of days leading up to this video, I have actually gone to try and see if there is a big difference in terms of the RAM and CPU utilization, and I actually haven't noticed all that much. What we saw just then from having a few different web browsers open was that they both spiked to around the same 30% when loading the same content and the RAM utilization also sat around the same benchmark as well. So Google Chrome, although it's been known to be a bit of a memory hog, Microsoft Edge using the same Chromium base appears to hog just as much memory, if not a little bit more. So the next thing we're gonna have a look at is the design of both these web browsers. And of course, being based on the same Chromium engine, their designs are more similar than what you'd expect. If you look at the placement of both the icons, they're both in the top right-hand corner for your settings. You can see they both have the same rounded tabs at the top. You can see their extensions are placed in a very similar spot. The only big difference is that Edge opens up with your Bing 
images by default, where Google Chrome gives you a more simple background, and they both give you your most commonly used and visited websites right here. With Edge, of course, you can scroll down and you can pull up things like your newsfeed and get a little bit more information right from the Edge web browser. But then there's also a few things that I believe Microsoft is doing that really actually give it the advantage when it comes to the design over Google Chrome. In the top left-hand corner of Microsoft Edge, there is actually this button called the tab action menu. And this is a new feature, but it's a great way of actually working with multiple tabs. I'm just gonna launch up a few things here. So I've got three tabs open here. And if I select on the tab action menu, I can open this up and then I can actually turn on this feature called vertical tabs, which what you'll see is it actually, I'm gonna go full screen for this. It removes my tabs from the top bar, but it places it onto the left instead. And this actually makes it easier for me to navigate when I have a whole lot of tabs open. And I can also press on this button to collapse that pane. And now I've actually got a bit more screen real estate, vertical real estate in front of me because I've moved the tabs from the top bar over to the left. Of course, if I select on the tab action menu again, I can turn off and they go back to the top. Or if I select on it one more time, I can actually create this collection of tabs. And that means that I can refer back to these three tabs later. It does take a little bit to get used to, but I think if you do start using it, you'll find that it's quite useful. The other thing when it comes to design, I'm gonna launch into incognito mode. So when we're in incognito mode, neither of these browsers have any of my settings or my customizations to them. They are essentially stock standard. And I noticed this the other day, I'm gonna to go to amazon.com. What I'll show you here is that when you launch into a Google Chrome website, I get this pop-up all the time that asks me to use Google Translate. You can see it here in, on the left-hand side of the screen. It's asked me to translate this page. I'm not sure how often you need to translate a page and I can understand how this can be useful sometimes, but I actually found it more annoying than useful because majority of the pages I'm searching are in English. Edge, on the other hand, on the right-hand side, they also have a pop-up or a notification that you can see in the ribbon here. But this one I found was really useful. It actually automatically scrolls the internet and looks for coupons for whatever site you're on. That day I was actually shopping for a t-shirt. I personally didn't think it was gonna work, but lo and behold, I pressed the coupon option, loaded it into the little coupon section before I checked out, and it actually gave me a discount on the t-shirt that I bought. So when it comes to the design of both Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge, I think Edge actually has this one over Google because they're doing things to customize and help people work with their tabs a little bit better. And then the pop-ups is from a default standpoint, I actually really like that coupon tab and I really do not like how Google Chrome pops up with the translation all the time. So an area where you'd expect Google to have the clear advantage over Microsoft Edge would be the extensions, right? And for a number of years, this was true on the legacy Microsoft Edge. But now that Microsoft Edge is actually built on the same Chromium base as Google, the extension story is a little bit interesting. So we're gonna again launch the King Google Chrome on the left-hand side, and we're gonna launch Microsoft Edge on the right-hand side. So Google Chrome again is asking me, oh, they want my location, yeah, go for it. But again, it's asking me to translate the page. So we're gonna launch here into the Google Chrome web store, which we know is an expansive list of Google Chrome applications and extensions for their web browser. But I'm just gonna zoom in and open up Microsoft Edge. When you look at extensions here, we're gonna open up the Chrome Web Store because now, as it says at the top here, you can add extensions from the Chrome Web Store directly into Microsoft Edge. So that means that Chrome had the advantage back in the day of having this expansive list of extensions, but that entire list is now available to Microsoft Edge because they're using the same Chromium-based engine. So when it comes to extensions, Google actually doesn't have the lead anymore. It would be an even playing field because Google and Microsoft can both access the Chrome Web Store. But this is actually where it goes even further with Microsoft Edge because Microsoft is building their own extension web store for Microsoft Edge as well. So I've just searched Microsoft Edge extensions and I've gone into their Microsoft Edge.Microsoft.com webpage and this is a beta, as it says in the top left-hand corner here, but this actually is Microsoft built extensions for Edge as well. So Microsoft Edge can now use the expansive extension list in the Chrome Web Store, and they've also got their own Microsoft Edge add-ins, which is currently in beta, and it's what we're looking at right now. The question right now is extensions. You'd expect Google Chrome to win, but with Microsoft Edge being built on the same 
base as Chrome, it actually goes to Microsoft Favor here because they can use all of Chrome's extensions, plus they can also use Microsoft's extensions. Is it transferable? Well, we're gonna grab this web page here, jump over to Google Chrome, and we're gonna try and use a Microsoft extension on Google Chrome. But on Chrome, unfortunately, it's not transferable. You can only use these browsers. You can only use these extensions in Microsoft Edge. The last thing we're testing today is, of course, security and data privacy. And this one is a clear winner going to Microsoft Edge for two reasons. The first one is they use the built-in Microsoft Defender Smart Screen, which is a much more comprehensive solution to what you get with Google Chrome. And you can even see that when Google is advertising their security, they don't really tell you too much about it. Whereas if we go over to Microsoft Edge, they tell you a lot more about how their security and their built-in protection is looking after your information online. The second thing, and which I think is actually even more important, is understanding where your data goes when you're on the web. So in Microsoft Edge here, we're gonna go into the top right-hand corner. We're gonna scroll down to where it says settings, and then we're gonna go over to where it says privacy search and services. This is very clear and easy to understand with Microsoft Edge as to what and where your data is going. You can very easily customize and understand um, the tracking that is being done on your data. And of course you can change it to being balanced or basic or really strict, and it's very easy to do. In Google Chrome, you do have options, but there is not as many when it comes to finding your data and your privacy online. And of course, in Edge, it's really easy and simple. You've got three big boxes and they're basically showing it to you when you go into the security settings. When you go into Google, however, it is a little bit more hidden to actually find out where these settings live. So when it comes to the transparency there, Microsoft Edge makes it easier for you to customize and secure your data online, where with Google, it is a little bit more of a convoluted step and I'm thinking for those with, whether it's kids or those who are a little bit less tech savvy, for them, it'd be harder to customize and secure their data in Google than it would be on Edge. So this is usually the part where I conclude the video, but when I launched my computer this morning to actually start making it, when I went into Microsoft Edge, I actually was greeted with this, uh, this new graphic here, and it's saying your web browser has been updated and it's showing you even more information and even more features that Microsoft has just put into Microsoft Edge. You can see here it's talking about Outlook extensions and password health, but one thing that really stood out to me, I'm gonna open all these right now, is actually this, this thing called Kids Mode. Um, I haven't looked too much into any of these features on the left-hand side that they've just advertised, but what really stands out to me right now is this thing called Kids Mode, which as it says here, is a safe place for your child to discover the web. And I'm sure as every parent out there would know, you don't know what your kid is always looking at on the internet. So with Microsoft giving you um, new features that are designed specifically for kids, again, it shows how they're trying to enhance the internet experience for everybody, for those that are using it, but also if you have kids, for the parents to know that their kids are actually being safe when being online. When it comes to the battle of the browsers, Microsoft Edge versus Google Chrome, I think the winner is Microsoft Edge because it's taken the base beautiful formula, the winning formula of Google Chrome and Chromium Engine of being a great web browser and they're enhancing and they're extending it. They're giving you all the great features that people know and love from Google Chrome, but then they're adding things like those tabbed web browsers, better security, more privacy settings, this new thing like kids mode and the built-in coupons, and they're really enhancing the web browser for everybody. I think Microsoft needs to do this because Google Chrome has such a strong hold on the internet browsing market that they're actually really trying to find ways to innovate and make it a much better browsing experience on Microsoft Edge. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Is Edge or Chrome your browser of choice? And after this video, will you be switching from Chrome to Edge?